Hey guys, I'm Cody, at Urbine Pass Life Pro. Today, I'd like to introduce a little daylight brightness adjustment into the mix. For example, if you think the shader as a whole is a little too bright or a little too dark, then that's where this subtle adjustment comes in handy. And yes, in the latest public CUDA shader, this one being the CUDA V6.1.13 Beta Ultra. Okay, let's get started. First, have the CUDA shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 364. The number directly after eye brightness smooth is what we'll be using, excluding the second number. Larger numbers, as you'd expect, brighten the shader. Smaller numbers, darken it. As for my choice on this one, since I thought this version of the Kudo was slightly dark, I actually recommend increasing the number to instead 260.0. In terms of other possible options, don't worry, I got you covered. My friends, do pay attention to this comparison. And of course, don't forget to save when you're done. All Cuda Shader versions in time will change, so if you have any questions in the future or in the now, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. And one more thing before I wrap up this video. For all you Minecraft cinematic artists out there, I would like to showcase your work. To submit your cinematic content, I don't think it really matters how you get it to me, though I know Twitter and Facebook don't spam filter links like YouTube does. I'll tell you what. Send them to me via my Twitter, at cman5015, or my Facebook, which is simply Past Life Pro. Of course, links to those sites are always in the description. Think of it as this, I won't be judging these cinematics at the standards I judge mine in, so you pretty much have nothing to lose if you'd like to send one in. The chances are pretty high that it'll be accepted. With that, I'll leave you with today's pick. To watch the full original video with audio, the link will be in the description. If this cutie shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!